Kevin Lee and Dr. John Janini are standing by. A full day of Atlantic 10 hoops continues on NBCSN with the third of four from snowy southwestern New York. It's St. Bonaventure and Dayton. Welcome to St. Bonaventure University where the 6 and 11 Bonnies are getting set to take on the 11 and 6 Dayton Flyers. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Lee along with former LaSalle coach Dr. John Janini. Well, Dayton is back as a legit NCAA team after rebuilding season last year. They just had a six-game win streak snapped by VCU on Wednesday, but they're very different from at home to on the road. Dayton can win an A-10 championship, but they have to win on the road. The last time they won the A-10 championship, 2017, they were 6-3 and three in A-10 road games. But since then, only 2-10. and ten. So today they have an opportunity to prove they could get a tough win in a tough environment. They've got impressive youth, but they rely on a senior. Josh Cunningham is a three-time captain. Coach Grant calls him the rock of our team. He's one of the best finishers in the country. He's Dayton's go-to guy inside. So the Bonnies are coming off a 26-win season and a win in the NCAA tournament. They've gone through some struggles this year as they regroup a little bit. But while Dayton struggles on the road, the Bonnies are great here. Well, St. Bonaventure over the last three years has the best home record in the A-10, 25-3. And, and even more impressive, they're a perfect 14-0 undefeated in their last 14 conference games here at the Riley Center. To continue that streak, they're going to look at Courtney Stockard, their leading scorer. He can shoot the ball, but he's at his best when he's attacking the paint, overpowering people. He does a little bit of everything. Now, I mentioned, along with Stockard, they've got other people. As we see Stockard now and what he can do and what impresses me the most is he plays the two, the three, the four. I'm sure he can play the point or the center. He's highly intelligent. Coach Schmidt has a pretty complex system. He could play inside, outside. He does know every position. Mark Schmidt is the head coach of the Bonnies. He's taken them to the NCAA tournament a couple of times, including that impressive run last year, which included a win over UCLA. He's just within four wins of becoming the all-time winningest coach for the Bonnies. And Anthony Grant came back to his alma mater last year to replace Archie Miller after he went to Indiana. His most recent stint had been the NBA as an assistant coach to his longtime mentor at Oklahoma City. And he worked for many years under Billy Donovan at Florida and previously at Marshall. Well, he's taken VCU to the NCAA tournament, Alabama to the NCAA tournament, and he's poisoned Dayton to get to the tournament as well, making it his third team. He's led to that goal that all coaches have. We mentioned some health concerns for St. Bonaventure. They had just gotten everybody back. They had missed many key people, including Stockard throughout this season, and now they get hit again with injuries. Poiser and Caputo are out with concussion, and those are significant losses. They're both experienced players. Caputo is St. Bonaventure's best three-point shooter. Poiser, a double-figure scorer. As a result, St. Bonaventure has to start three true freshmen here today. They, they have a, a tall task ahead of them, but as we said, very tough here in the Rally Center. Our officials, Earl Walton, Mark Schnur, Ryan Sassano, the Bonnies in the gray and brown, the blue for the Flyers today with red. And we are ready to go from the Riley Center. And the road Flyers get the first look. And this is their outstanding young point guard from Memphis, a sophomore, Jalen Crutcher, as you see the rest of the lineup for the Flyers. This is Cunningham, who you mentioned. Mostly an inside player, but he will pop it a little bit. He draws three, can't get it to go, but gets the offensive rebound. The guy with the ball now, Jordan Davis, has been really hot. Over to Crutcher now. Landers and Mike Sell. Landers loses it. First look for the Bonnies in transition. Stockard leads them. Darian Griffin is one of those that's been injured. He's starting to come into his own here recently. And watch out for Oshun Ushuniyi. The two great, talented young big men that we'll see in this game. One of them comes off the Dayton bench. A turnover. And running the other way is Sanders all the way to the basket. And Ushuniyi is there to erase it. 
Stockard pulls up for three. No. And Mike Sell sends the Flyers the other way. Too strong on the attack for Davis. Both teams struggling early over here. Love the athletic block by Osinia. He's going to be a pleasure to watch today. He'll do some eye-popping things, as well as Toppin when he gets in the game. Two of the best athletes in the A-10, and even national. Kyle Lofton is a freshman. He's their point guard, and he has played well. Shot clock down to three. Stockard's going to have to do something. Pulls up, contested. There's a lid on the basket in the opening couple of minutes. Crutcher will take it all the way. Blocker charge. Offensive foul. This game so far could almost not be better than, for, than you want for St. Bonaventure. They're going to have a hard time matching Dayton's offensive firepower. St. Bonaventure's best chance in this game is if for, to, is if for to be a defensive block firefight, just as we've seen here. Both teams having a hard time scoring. They're going to have to out-defend Dayton. They're going to have a hard time outscoring them, but they can out-defend them. The Bonnies are missing two shooters out with a concussion today as Lofton misses the pull-up, but Stockard with the offensive rebound. Jalen Poyser is a three-point shooter, a transfer from UNLV, and Caputo, one of their seniors, also a perimeter shooter. Neither can play in this game. That's 38 games missed this season so far. This guy can shoot it, though. That's the freshman, Welch, who's back in the starting lineup. He misses it this time. Welch played well at Rhode Island. They're really going to need him to step up here today. And now Welch on the defensive end gets the block to stop the drive from Crutcher. So both these teams are back defensively identical. And here we see the kind of defense that St. Bonaventure is going to have to rely on. Both these teams strong defensively. Frankly, Dayton has the better offensive team statistically, so... Again, St. Bonaventure is going to have to out-defend them in this game rather than outscore them. And so far, they're doing it, holding Dayton scoreless. Davis, the A-10 player of the week, the co-player of the week. He's been hot recently. Crutcher with 10 to shoot, loses it. Lofton on the floor, and last touch by Lofton, so the Flyers keep it with 9 to shoot. Lofton with a deflection, Welch with the block, Osuni with the block. The freshmen are coming up big defensively for the Bonnies. Not much time to get into it. Crutcher can't shoot from the perimeter. Davis inside out, and it's Landers forcing his way to the basket and wipe another one off. Second well, offensive foul on the Flyers. Here you see. Stockard getting outside of that charge circle, being set, taking the contact in the chest. St. Bonaventure's defense has been flawless. At some point, they are going to have to put the ball in the basket. Lofton off the high screen and roll. Can't find a shooter, -y, and they'll try to feed him from the wing, and it's taken away. Yeah, Welsh really forced that. As a freshman, sometimes you have to understand if the first option isn't there, go to your second option. Don't force it. Let's watch Cunningham go to work on a shooty. Cunningham's got some size on him. Help. And now reversal for the Flyers. Landers with the reverse and off the left-hand glass for the first basket of the game, almost four minutes in. Oshuni has to block that shot. He has to be their goaltender, their rim protector. Nice, strong drive by Landers, but that's Oshuni's job, and he's more than up to it can't let them get layups. Welch baseline, cross court. Stockard, three, no. Another look. Welch goes back up, can't get it to fall. And the Bonnies can't buy one in the early going. Yeah, the tempo in this defense, defensive emphasis, I think, favors St. Bonaventure so far. They will be just fine with a low-scoring game. Mike Sell with some difficulties. Three to shoot. Cunningham will have to try to take a three, and he banks it from straight on. And he has hit the three this season. He's now four of seven on the season, and you don't think of him in that position. He doesn't shoot many, but he does make them. That one would not count against a horse, though. He banked that, and you know he didn't mean to bank it. Five-zip start for the visiting Flyers. Now Griffin. Oh, nice handoff. A shooty. He gets rejected at the rim by Mike Zell. And the shooty is down. 
The home fans want a foul, and they're watching their star freshman in pain at the other end of the court. The Bonnies get it back, and the officials will call timeout to check on Ashunayi, who's been holding his left shoulder. Let's watch again, and then we'll find out the severity for the outstanding freshman, Oshin Oshunayi, who was trying to take it home, got rejected. Whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, whether I find a place in this world or never belong. However you get ready, I've gotta be me. welcome to the club. Right now, get started with a shave, shower, or oral care starter set for just five bucks. Only at dollarshaveclub.com. NHL stars shine bright on NBC. It's Carlson. Carlson lets it go. He scores. Holby. NHL Game of the Week, Caps, Blackhawks, tomorrow, and watch the Honda NHL All-Star Game next Saturday on NBC. NBA League Pass knows this game is all about choices. Go right or left. To the bucket, left hand. Step back or drive. Land off the glass or drive NBA League Pass is all about choices. Watch the whole season. Follow my favorite team. Or my favorite player. Watch on my phone. How you want it. My TV. Where you want it. Or my tablet. Free preview January 14th through the 20th. Call 800-GET-SPORTS or visit directtv.com slash NBA. At touchofmodern.com, things you'd never think possible are totally attainable. The shoes are handmade. The furniture glows. The drones fly themselves. And that's just the beginning. Our relentless pursuit of the highest quality in watches, fashion, tech, and home are available all in one place. Touchofmodern.com. We bring something new and unexpected to your life every day. So go to touchofmodern.com and be the first to discover all the novel and noteworthy items the world has to offer. College basketball on NBCSN is brought to you by Ally, Do It Right, and by Office Depot, Office Max. Buy online and pick up in just one hour. And by Golden Corral, your choice rules. Well, major development here in the opening moments at the Riley Center in St. Bonaventure. That's the outstanding freshman big man, Oshun Oshunayi, who took a tumble just a moment ago. Oshunayi's had some chronic shoulder things, actually. That's why he has the bracing on it. Hopefully it's more of a chronic thing, as I said, and he can play with as tolerated because they really need him out there. Hopefully it's nothing more serious than the strain he has been battling. Stocker drives and gets the Bonnies on the board. So is Shunayi on the bench right now, one of the outstanding freshmen in the country. Leads the A-10 in blocks, developing as an offensive player. He's a difference maker on the defensive end. He sits and hopefully he can return in the near future. Well, he was A-10 Rookie of the Week last week, averaging 13 points and 12 rebounds a game, a double-double, leading shot blocker in the A-10, so that's a big loss. But if Peasy taking his place, you see him contesting the shot there. If Peasy started 11 of the last 12 games last year on their NCAA tournament run, so if Peasy's played high level of competition and in big games, he's a good guy to go to given the situation. Credit Mike Sell with the offensive rebound, setting up Landers for the lay-in. And the Flyers are up by five. Here's Ikpizi, who can bang down low. Sheer force backing his way in and getting a foul on Cunningham. That's important for him to build some needed confidence. It, it surely looks like he's going to have to play some extended minutes here. So that's a great start for Ikpizi. And he has... As you mentioned, played a lot this season. He started 13 times coming in, so he's used to playing minutes. 10 of 19 on the season from the free throw line. And here's Obi Toppin, the other young, exciting, impressive big man. I like it, PC matching up with Cunningham as well. I'm, I'm a little concerned Cunningham's strength 
can can go at Oshunyi, maybe back him in under the basket where he can't use his shot blocking ability. That remains to be seen. But Ikpizi certainly could just look physically a very good matchup in terms of size and strength for Cunningham. We're looking forward to seeing Oshunyi match up with Obi Toppin. For now, Oshunyi banged up on the side. Watch Toppin go to work. He's over in the right corner. Dwayne Cohill celebrating a birthday in the game with the ball right now. Another freshman. Griffin knocks it away. Dayton keeps it with 11 to shoot. Dayton's bench is all freshmen. Cohill, the birthday guy, uh, a freshman, as well as Toppin. They don't have much depth, but what they have is high quality. Top, both Toppin and Cohill among their best and plus minuses. Certainly, Coach Schmidt didn't want to give that up. They went through that and walked through this morning. That's a definite breakdown. And Mike Sell throws one down with two hands with the defensive laps, and it's a 9-3 to three jump for the Flyers. The Bonnies have won 14 straight here in conference. Dayton has struggled on the road, trying to turn that around today. The Bonnies trying to get a much-needed win to keep their hopes in the A-10 going. Another opportunity at Peasy in the lane. Will force one up? No. One more time. A whistle, though, will blow it off, and he was too aggressive on the second or third effort. Yeah, St. Bonaventure's going to have to find some offense pretty quickly. I would expect Coach Smith to start to run some sets for, to force Stockard, try to manufacture some scoring opportunities for their, their best offensive player. St. Bonaventure will have to go a little deeper into the bench with the injuries. Alpha Okoli, another freshman, is into the game, replacing the freshman Welch. Davis into the corner. Now back to the corner for Davis. Mike Sell's a big man, but he can play like a guard. He's got some handles. He'll fade away and hit this one. Mike Sell might not be great at anything, but he is really good at everything a coach would want you to do. He can shoot threes, go to the basket, very good ball handler and passer at six foot eight, and can defend multiple positions. Griffin going to work on top of it, and he'll get it over the big man, and it rolls home off the rim. Griffin scoring average up to 15 points a game in A-10 play. That knee is getting better all the time. He and Stockard are the two veterans uh, that played major minutes on their NCAA tournament team last year, and there's, they're the guys they have to count on offensively. Griffin missed a lot of time, five points a game, under that in his first three back, almost 18 in the last three. Davis misses, but a whistle. And we'll sort it out in just a moment. The road team with the early jump, it's 11-5, Dayton leading Mark Schmidt's Bonnies. We dream not of what could be, but of what will be. With spirit that takes the world by storm, we ignite ideas. With $1 billion in sponsored research contracts underway, we are a mission in motion, creating a force for the future. The University of Dayton. Our home is a powerhouse. tough so you can plow through winter and only at AutoZone, America's number one battery destination. This is a payday bar and there's only one thing you need to know about it. It has a truckload of peanuts surrounding sweet caramel. I mean, holy yeah. look at all those peanuts. Best part is it helps you get through your day. Payday. Get to it. At Golden Corral, enjoy the signature sirloin. Juicy, hand-carved, grilled how you like every night. And right now, hurry in for Wing Fest. Get as much as you want of their sweet, spicy, and boneless wings. There's something for everyone at Golden Corral. We dream not of what could be, but of what will be. With spirit that takes the world by storm, we ignite ideas. With $1 billion in sponsored research contracts underway, we are a mission in motion, creating a force for the future. The University of Dayton.
your home is a powerhouse. NBC's Game of the Week features a pair of American All-Stars as John Carlson leads the Capitals to the Windy City to take on Patrick Kane and the Blackhawks. They've seen their share of basketball championships there at the UC with Air Jordan. It's hockey tomorrow at 12.30 Eastern, only on NBC. Kevin Lee, Dr. John Giannini, back at St. Bonaventure, where the visiting Flyers have the early six-point advantage, and Dayton can put it in the basket. Well, the assist and field goal percentage stats go together. Good passing makes for good shooting, and it all starts with Jalen Crutcher, the top assist man in the Atlanta 10. He drives, draws, dishes to open people. The big guys finish off of his penetration. He kicks out to Davis for open threes. We mentioned Davis, the, the reigning A-10 co-player of the, of the week. So Dayton does a great job playing together and getting the best shot possible, extremely efficient offensively. Dayton with the ball out of the timeout. They'll go into the backcourt. They've gone a little deeper in their bench. A freshman from New Hartford, New York, Frankie Policelli has checked in. He's down there on the block. Cohill off the Policelli screen. He's a shooter, so look for him on the perimeter more. Ten to shoot. Top and going to work. He's doubled. Ball is loose. And the bodies have it. Stockard, no numbers, he'll have to reset. Good leave down low, and there's a shooting he back in the game, throwing it down with two hands. That's the best possible thing a St. Bonaventure fan could want to see is Oshuni back out there. And he's there to help defend the basket. Crutcher doesn't have a path. And he'll reset up top. Landers, he's tough. He'll drive, flow, and get it to go home. Landers has that football-type body, ferocious offensive rebounder, but also a relentless driver. He's tough to stop going to the basket. Strength and athleticism. His brother definitely has the football body, starting defensive tackle for Ohio State, Robert Landers. Now here's Griffin. Nice spin. Can't get it to go. One tap up. Not going to go either. And Toppin is there to clear for the Flyers. Crutcher can pull up. He's got range. And he will pull up and hit it right on cue. You called that. <laughs> I had a he, feeling because I know that's what I would do in transition. 41% <laughs> on threes. Made the, he's second in the A-10 in threes per game. But what is impressive is what you refer to. He shoots it well off the dribble. If you go behind the ball screen, he's knocking it down. He made a huge three to win the game late against UMass exactly like that. Stockard too strong. Griffin chases it down. Finds the cutter, it's Stockard, and he'll get it to go in from point-blank range. That's the kind of energy effort play the Bonnies have to live off of on this home court here. I think they really need something big from Griffin. He's been contributing here recently, but with their perimeter scores out, they're going to need his inside-outside game. Now Stockard and Griffin certainly need to lead the way. They're the NCAA tournament veterans on this team. Oh, that's a nice move, and Toppin will throw it home. And that's a more pedestrian dunk. It's not one that makes you simply drop your mouth but he has one of those every game two things on, on that play that was a key play he has the option of handing it off on that play but if he thinks he can out quick his man he keeps it it's almost like a quarterback on an option play but secondly Oshuni's mobility did not look good guarding him in that situation Stockard will pull up and get one to go from the outside I think coach Smith with this large set play menu he has, he really has to run stuff to try to get it to Stockard and Griffin in good situations, and I would expect him to do that. Good matchup on the perimeter with point guards we're going to see for the next three years. Two more after this one with Crutcher and Lofton. Lofton just a, a freshman. Crutcher is a sophomore. Off the screen and roll. Bonicelli doesn't really want it in close. Cohill, too strong on the corner three, and Stockard coming the other way for the Bonnies, draws contact and a trip to the line. In the opening, we mentioned Stockard's at his best when he's attacking the paint. He can overpower people. He's strong and athletic. And Kevin, you made a great point about the two terrific point guards, uh, the sophomore Crutcher and the freshman Lofton. Crutcher leading the A-10 in assists, Lofton leading the A-10 in minutes as a freshman. 
And when your coach can't take you off the floor, and I think Crutcher's fourth in the A-10 in minutes played, these two players have made themselves indispensable to their respective offenses. And they'll be going head-to-head -head in this game in years to come. It's a great battle to watch. They're both high in almost every category the A-10 keeps for statistics. Mark Schmidt has played Lofton all 40 a few times. And short of guards, if this game stays close, I think you can count on that again in this one. I think so, too. And they might be able to get Crutcher a break with a lead, but if the, if the game's close, he's not coming out. Davis with the three, off. Acoli all the way, coast to coast. And Acoli does not provide offense, but he does when it's a point-blank layup like that. So some life for the home team and the crowd getting into it at St. Bonaventure. As someone in witness protection, I can't tell you anything about myself. But believe me, I'm not your average consumer. That's why I switched to Liberty Mutual. They customize my car insurance, so I only pay for what I need. And as a man, uh, or a woman, with very specific needs that I can't tell you about. Mr. Landry? Oh, no. Hi, Mr. Landry. <laughs> Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Hour, a New York federal judge sentencing Cohen to three years in prison. We're following a number of fast-paced developing stories this morning. Carlson, Holtby, and King. Patrick King wins it for the Hawks! The NHL Game of the Week, Caps, Blackhawks, tomorrow. And watch the Honda NHL All-Star Game next Saturday on NBC. Fellas, you may not know it, but it's possible to injure yourself during intercourse, causing your erection to become curved over time. If you're curved, it could be an addressable medical condition called Peroni's disease, or PD, that is experienced by thousands of other men. You're not alone. Ask a urologist, a specialist for men's health conditions like Peroni's disease, about your curved erection. Find out more at learnaboutpd.com. Also accepting boats, motorcycles, RVs, and real estate donations. Visiting Dayton got out to an 11-2 start. St. Bonaventure has not led, but they're within three right now. Thanks for joining us from the Riley Center in southwestern New York. Dr. John Giannini, Kevin Lee. One of the keys we were just talking about for Dayton is their sophomore point guard, Jalen Crutcher, and he does a little bit of everything. Opposing coaches, first priority when they play Dayton is to try to contain Jalen Crutcher, keep him out of the lane, because not only does he score, he makes everyone else better. He's definitely the motor that makes this very efficient Dayton offense run. St. Bonaventure has done a nice job of chopping back in this one, and for them, I'm sure they got a huge boost when they saw Ushun Oshuniyi check into the scores table. And there he is defensively at the free throw line, matched up with the big, big man for Dayton, Josh Cunningham. Mike Sells provided some offense earlier. He has it on the perimeter. Ten to shoot. Davis inside to Cunningham. He'll try the jump toss and get it to go. That's veteran patience right there. He threw a little shot fake to see if anyone would bite on it. When they didn't bite, he just made the easy shot. Very patient, took his time using the shot fake, finishing. The freshman Welch is back in the game. They look for him from the perimeter, and he gets a big three here early. A huge positive sign. Averaged 30 points a game in high school, is known as a scorer. Now he's missed nine games this year because of a foot injury, and he's only a freshman, but he's responding to the opportunity to get this extra playing time with Caputo and Poiser out. He's coming off a 12-point game in their loss at Rhode Island. And Mike Sell is hot. Mike Sell might be the most versatile player at 6'8 in the A-10. 
I'll say it again. There's nothing this guy doesn't do well. I don't know if he's great at any one thing, but anything as a coach you want him to do, he's skilled and smart. And he is coming off a season that he didn't play. Double hip surgery cost him all of last season. And he's still the most experienced player on the Flyer team. Bonnie's turnover gives it back to Dayton. Leading by five. Davis attacking. Trying to find Mike Sell in the corner. Too wide for him. And a turnover. A, a lot of players in this game have overcome significant injuries and, and adversity. Stockard lost two seasons to stress fractures in his feet. And... Josh Cunningham lost his first season at Dayton to a, a, a really difficult uh, broken ankle. Mike Sell last year with hip surgery. So the, a lot of these kids are easy to root for. They've been through some things. And now we see Dayton go into their 1-1-3 one, one, zone. And both of these teams play this a little bit, and it's pretty unique. Not exactly the same, but... Yeah, Kevin, we, we were talking about that. Not many people play the 1-1-3. One, one, and here we see two teams playing it in the same game. It's really hard to play against. Often three up top, too strong. Davis with the quick outlet to Crutcher. Oh, nice feed down low. Cunningham's going to get a chance in an and one. That's what Crutcher does. He distributes the ball so well, and he makes such great decisions. What he did on this play here is he drew two defenders. As soon as he sees Osunye help, he knows Cunningham is open. He just reads the defense. Whenever he draws two defenders, he knows he's done his job. Two guys on him means someone's open, and he finds that open man. Just threaded that pass. There really wasn't much of a lane there. No, he, he is... All these guys, just like the running backs by the, the lineman watches, all these guys should do something nice for Crutcher because he sets them all up. He makes everybody look good. Stockard pulls up at the elbow. No, a shooting, he will tap it back in. Another positive sign. I want to see his defensive mobility. Didn't look the one time, didn't look at the one time top and drove him, but he's certainly active on the boards and around the basket. Let's see what he has with that left arm. Can he use that to change shots that's what he appeared to be favoring and what looked to be the biggest concern fortunately for him he's right-handed but i think he's paying playing with some discomfort as i said he has a chronic labrum situation from the summer and the fall and it looks like he may have just aggravated that six point game under five minutes remaining in the first half they try to get it to shuni -E. it deflects nicely to stalker but he can't drain the free throw line jumper and here's Mike Sill trying to take it but a shooting he is there to knock that one out of the way a foul off the play though or at least off of that block shot if I'm playing with Oshunie I let him yeah. time that block and not get in the way because knowing his game you know he's just timing it Stockard on the help gets called for the foul you know, she knew he would have got that, but Mike Sell's ball handling at 6'8", the ability to go coast to coast and finish or make a pass is very impressive. When I was growing up, I was a huge Philadelphia 76ers fan. I love Julius Irving, Dr. J, but they had a great player named Bobby Jones. Mike Sell at the college level reminds me a little bit of that. A versatile defender, can run the floor, dribble, pass, and shoot. As I said, and I'll say again, he's good at about everything a coach would want. That's a huge compliment. Bobby Jones was a complete player. He looks like him. He runs like him. He defends at the college level against multiple positions. I, I think he, well, the fact is he has the best plus minus on this team. He does. He, he like Crutcher, is a guy they don't want to take out. And good things happen when he's on the court. Now, you're not saying he's going to be a Hall of Famer or have that kind of career, but that's what his game resembles here in the Atlantic Center. I think that's well stated. Foul on Dayton. St. Bonaventure takes advantage of the turnover, and that's the first on Obi Toppin. You know, Dayton's defense since the A-10 has started has been locking down. They're holding people to 39% from the field in their A-10 games. Anytime your defensive field goal percentage gets in the 30s, that's very, very strong. Welch just hit a three. Stocker now has it. Oshuni, he's trying to get it down on the block. Griffin, a nice right-hand toss. That is difficult to defend. He's really, that is... 
very difficult for this reason. A 15-footer, you can kind of follow through. A dunker layup, you just attack. But that five-footer requires a lot of touch. Crutcher will retreat, and he'll get the offense going with under 10 to shoot. Working screen and roll with Toppin. Now Mike Sell, this is a deep three and too strong. And the Bonnies playing shorthanded again, hanging in there so far. Jalen Poiser and Nelson Caputo, two of their three-point shooters, two guards out because of concussions today. Stockard on the drive will get a trip to the foul line coming up after the break. 3.05 to play in the first half at St. Bonaventure. The visiting Flyers up six. Kelsey, and he jumps over everybody! Touchdown! Oh, Travis Kelsey's got the moves. Sir? Your order. Sir? Oh, your order. Awesome. Everyone's hyped because McDonald's 2 for 5 is back. It's time to crank things up with the new headliner, the Quarter Pounder with Cheese. Plus, your choice of the Big Mac, 10-piece chicken McNuggets, or the filet of fish So mix and match your choice of two favorites and get to celebrate. $36,000. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth. Spread the truth. For decades, banks have been getting away with it. Charging you excess fees. Making you wait in line. Keeping billions of dollars of your interest. They've been treating you like you're lucky to have them. That's not right. Show them who's the boss of your money. You. Better is out there. Ally. Do it right. Pretty good one so far here at St. Bonaventure. Dayton up by six in the early going over the Bonnies. And one of the reasons Dayton is in front so far is because of the play of Ryan Mikesell. He's got nine already. Look at everything Mikesell's showing on these highlights. Athleticism with the dunk, ball handling and mid-range touch. Now we're going to see the long-range touch from three-point range. Extremely versatile. And he's equally versatile on the defensive end. Can guard smaller guys or bigger guys. The number one plus-minus player on Dayton's roster. A huge glue guy for their efforts. Richard Jr. from St. Henry, Ohio. And I think he's one of those guys that doesn't necessarily have to get statistics to make a big impact in the game. But in this game, he's doing both. A lot of times he'll be in help defense and, and he'll prevent baskets that just don't show up on the stat sheet. Today, as you said, Kevin, it is showing up on the stat sheet. Bodies with the ball out of the timeout, down by six. Stockard, corner three, got it to go. Three-point game. The opening against the 1-1-3 is in the corner. You saw Cunningham trying to get out there. That's a long way for a big man to go. And St. Bonaventure attacking the zone in the right area with the right person. And Stockard has 11. Hitting his first three of the game. Landers with five to shoot. Thinking about Toppin. Now it's another deep three for Cunningham. He hit one already. Misses this one. And here comes St. Bonaventure with a chance to tie if they shoot a three and hit it. Griffin driving baseline. Yeah, Looked like Lofton might have had one there. He needs to attack the big man. He's got the mismatch. Oh, look at that step back. Three ball tie game. Yeah, Any time a guard has the ball against a big guy, you should go right at him. 
St. Bonaventure has never led. At one point, it was 11 to 2, Dayton. The trailer is Cunningham. Count the basket, blocking foul. Oshini prides himself on taking charges as well as blocking shots. This time, I think he should have went for the block. He could have elevated. I think he had enough time to gather himself. I wonder if, again, his explosion might be affected by that shoulder. I think there's a decent chance of that. I'm going to guess that just extending is uncomfortable. You know, whenever you try to jump high, you, 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 you kind of flex your shoulders before you explode upward, and I'm not sure if that's comfortable for him right now, but he's making every effort, showing some physical and mental toughness. Cunningham in double figures. He has 11. The Flyers are back up three as we near the minute and a half point remaining in the first half. Stocker right in the middle of five dark blue shirts and gets the pull up to go. He's a downhill score. Attacking the paint, he's at his best. That's a great way to put it. He looked like a football running back there, running downhill. Stocker with a block out, looking for the lead. He'll keep it himself. Lawton into the lane, step back, and St. Bonaventure is in front for the first time all game. Down nine early. The Bonnies now lead the Flyers by one. And listen to the crowd. The students aren't back in school until Monday, but a few beat the snowstorm and are back in town to support the Bonnies in this one. 45 to go in the half, 10 on the shot clock. Down to five, and they haven't even looked at the basket. Crutcher drives, floats, no, got his own. That's a big rebound, and Mike Sell will miss the three. And the Bonnies can take the last shot if they want. They'll attack. Lob a shooting. He can't throw it down, but will shoot two. That would have brought the house down. Yeah, there's a reason they have this 14-game winning streak here. They have a lot of confidence, great fan base, great energy in this building. The freshman had a great sequence there. Not only Lofton pushing it, throwing it up to Oshuni, but Welsh's help defense, he was in a gap. He was a factor disrupting a couple drive attempts by, by Dayton. Their freshman really doing a good job in that last sequence. Just a few minutes, Paul Mar both Burmeister is coming up in our U.S. Bank NBC studios. With the tails on a big upset in the Big 12, Michigan is no longer unbeaten, and Tennessee is involved in a thriller. Paul has all that coming up in just a few minutes. The Bonnies on a run right now. Sixteen to five is the spurt. It's a big momentum play over here. Dayton will obviously go for the last shot. And the Bonnies want to keep that momentum and get a stop. Crutcher, center circle. At what point does he go? Down to six off the high screen. It's at five. Cunningham pick and roll in the corner. Landers, is he going to get it up? Regardless, it doesn't matter because the shooting is there to swat it away. And there is something else going on in the court. Stockard is in the middle of a melee as we watch the replay of a shooting erasing that shot. And Toppin and Lofton were jaw to jaw as the two teams separate and go to their locker rooms. It started before Toppin and Lofton. I saw Stockard in the middle of quite a few blue shirts, so we'll uncover this in a great second half to come. Now we go to our NBC studios at Paul Burmeister.